All right, so this tutorial here is going to be on how to draw those uh, angled beams, the, the beams that are, that are sloping, that are supporting our sloping lobby roof. So the only roof that we have any slope on in this project is going to be this lobby roof here, and it's sloping at a uh, one half inch and twelve. Okay, and then so in the instructions, we've got uh, this is page twelve, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, page eleven. So page 11 in the uh, instructions, and these are basically the the uh, steel girders that are forming the uh, that are holding up um, or supporting our sloping lobby roof. All right. So what we're going to use is we use some W12 by 35s, and we're going to put them at the following locations. But our base level is going to be in their O2 second floor plan level. All right. So we're going to go between uh, six and seven on um, column grid B. All right. So these first three, the girder five, six, and seven, are going to be flat. And those guys are going to be running. Let me go to my second floor plan here. Those guys are going to be running here uh, on grid line B and C and D. All right. Um, so those guys are going to be flat. And I'm going to use that single girder um, or single beam command. That was that first video that we we went through. All right. And back to the instructions. Uh, this first one, grid girder five, is going to be um, between B and C. It's going to be at 12 foot one. So let me go ahead and put that one in first. All right. So this is going to be a flat one, no slope to this one. All right. Between six and eight. Okay. So I go to the beam command, and I'm going to get my W12 by 35. So I've got the correct one on the level O2. Uh, structural uses usage is girder. And then I think it said 12 foot 1 for the offset value for that one. So it's 12 foot 1 inch. All right. And our justification is set to the top. So that's good. All right. And then let's see. It was between. That one was between uh, 6 and 8 on grid line B. All right, so let's go do that real quick. 6 and 8 on grid line B. So let me draw that across there. Six and eight. All right, and let me go to my section cut view, and there it is. So at twelve foot one, uh, it's right there underneath that lobby roof. So here's our lobby roof sloping. Here's that uh, horizontal beam um, supporting it. All right, so then you're going to put in two more beams, and those are girders six and seven, and those are going to be at column grid C and D, and those are also going to be the same. They're going to be flat, uh, flat beams um, at different elevations, so 11 foot 5 and 10 foot 9. So then when you draw those in your section, you'll have one here at grid line C and grid line D. So you have two of them, and they should be underneath that slope at those heights. So the one that, that uh, um, then the last three, I'm sorry, the last two, are those sloping beams here. So these are uh, grid lines 8, 9, and 10. Those guys are the sloping beams. Um, uh, that follow the slope of our roof. So in order to do that, what we want to do, and you're going to have to just ignore this image here at the bottom uh, for just a second. So uh, what we're going to do, our strategy here, is we're going to draw those beams in flat. We're going to just draw them without any slope at all. Then we go to our section view, select the beam, and then give it the rotation after we've drawn it in. All right, so that's our, that's our game plan. All right, go team. So what we're going to do... Um, it is on 6, 7, and 8 between B and E. So that therefore it's on 6, 7, and 8 between B and E. All right. And let's see. All right. So if I go down here, I'm just real quickly, I'm going to see here. Um, the bottom of it looks like the end level offset. The bottom of that beam is going to be at 10 foot 2. So that's the height that I'm going to make this beam. I'm going to make it at 10 foot 2. So let me go back to my rabbit project. All right, uh, let's go to the beam command. So I go to structure, beam, W12 by 35, placement plane is O2 second level, structural uses is girder. All right, 10 foot 2. Okay, that's going to be my um, Z offset value. And it's going to the top of that beam, so that's good. All right. All right, so let's draw that in. And I'm going to start down here at E. Okay. And I'm going to go up to B. All right, so I'm going to go from center of column line, column line to center of column line. And I select that one. All right, you're going to get this warning down here. And it's basically telling you that it's above your head. You can't see it. Um, uh, so that's why it's missing. So, But you can see it from my uh, section view here. So I'm going to 
double click on there, and there it is. So there's the beam we just drew. So 10 foot 2, here's where I started it off at. 10 foot 2 is pretty good. It, it comes right underneath that structural uh, beam. Now what I'm going to do is the second step in this is to add some structure to it. I'm sorry, add some slope to it. So uh, go back to my instructions here real quick. All right, so that's where you get this. Um, let's see, it says uh, start level offset and uh, end level offset. All right. And so when I subtract it, basically you get a difference of uh, two foot one. All right, so that is basically the difference in slope from one side to the other. So for one end, from the start to finish, it's it's uh, changing a level from uh, two foot one inch. So what I'm going to do is I go back to my Revit project file. I select that beam. All right, and it says start level offset, end level offset. Both are set to zero. I'm going to set my end level offset to two foot one because that was the difference in height uh, between from one end to the other. And if I hit apply, then notice it does it uh, starts sloping and it's sloping pretty much exactly to our uh, the slope of our uh, our roof there. Now one thing, just a little bit of fine tuning here, um, I noticed that it's a little bit too high. That 10 foot 2 is a little bit high. Yeah, so if I just change this and if I go to 10 foot 0, now 10 foot 0 is going to be a little bit low, so I'm going to change it to 10 foot 5 eighths. And that puts it right almost like exactly underneath there. So you can do a little fine tuning on this. You may have to lower it just a little bit, but um, that basically puts it right at the uh, underneath the slope there. So it's sloping there. So put so when you're doing this beam, put it in flat, and then come back in, select the beam, and use these uh, start level offset and end level offsets. Now here's the thing: you may get it going the wrong way. So you may get it so it's popping out the other way. It depends on which which point you started with. So I drew mine I drew mine from the bottom to the top, so from E to D. Now let's let me redraw that one. Let me delete it. I'm going to redraw it. And I'm going to draw it from top to bottom and do the same exact process. So I'll go 10 foot 2. All right. And I'm going to start from the top to bottom there to there. And I'm going to do this exactly the same way I did the last one. I go to my section cut. All right, there it is. All right, end level offset is two foot one. And notice it's going the wrong way. It's because I drew it from top to bottom versus that. So what you do is just uh, you can change that and just make it a negative, negative two foot one. Oops, sorry, sorry. Pick that again. Let's change this to zero, and we'll say our start level offset is two foot one. And that'll do it. That'll fix it. So that is basically the, the gist on how to draw those sloping beams in there.